Hey Deckers, we've Starfield officially launched now. We thought we'd have a look at some local gameplay versus using Xbox Cloud Gaming or xCloud on the Steam Deck via the browser. Now, if you're wondering how to do that, we have a full guide on the channel, which I will link below. As you can see on the left here, local is not looking too bad compared to the Xbox Cloud Gaming version. However, once we go down onto planets, if I look at the Vanguard mission here, see running around with our recommending settings we're dropping down into the 20 range and the FSR is really kicking in heavily on the local version whereas Xbox Cloud with it capped at 30 frames per second using the Series X blades is looking very clear actually and it does perform exceptionally well so we switch back to local with all of the stuff going off the FSR is really struggling to hold those frames above 30 and still around the 25 range and you can see just how pixelated everything has become which is a real shame as it does still feel quite good on the Steam Deck but it really does look an absolute mess when all of this stuff goes on. For the most part though it does work very well on the Steam Deck but dipping into those 20 range really doesn't feel great especially when you compare it to the Xbox Cloud version it is so much clearer so much better graphic fidelity as well very very small amount of input latency which I do notice on the Steam Deck but for the clarity and the ease of being able to play this on the Steam Deck with around 8 watts draw so you're going to get a good 4-5 to five hours battery life which is just insane and of course if you're using Xbox Game Pass then you didn't have to buy the game either, you use your subscription. Now this becomes really apparent when we head into New Atlantis as I'm running to the Vanguard to go and put this mission in and you also see quite a difference on the character models themselves. Just look at how much clearer the Xbox Cloud version is here on the right. It looks like it's a lot worse graphics on the left, even though this should be around the same quality. So Xbox Cloud's definitely running mid to high graphics as well with that capped at 30 frames per second. With the completely unmodded version of the local Steam Deck really struggling to hold those frames per second. So I am gonna have another look at the mod and update the mod guide from the latest version as that does seem to have now settled and retest this as well but if you are looking to play Xbox Cloud Gaming on the Steam Deck to play Starfield it is working incredibly well but you do need to have a stable internet connection and also a good network connection as well obviously this won't work for everybody but if you do have a decent home network as well as decent download speed then this is a fantastic way to play the game on the Steam Deck right now and we'll continue looking at better ways to get more performance out of the local version without it looking too bad. Let us know in the comments below if you're diving into the Game Pass version on cloud or whether you're running Windows on deck to run the local version as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.